Hey guys and welcome to another episode of my 12 Let's Play series. Today I'm going to be doing U9 for the first time. I have not set foot in here. I barely set foot right now so you can see U9 right here, Uber 9 difficulty in the top part of the screen. And I have no idea how this is going to go so I'm going to use the Rally Blade because I want to join a group. I don't really want to solo and I guess these were the only two <laughs> in this world. So let's see how crazy U9 is when you barely hit 10k PR. Because I heard that mobs can hit you for about a million, so let's let's see how it goes. I've done ultras. Uh, I've done I've been doing ultra spike and weeping, while leveling up on my classes to 25. Uh, but those weren't U9; those were only U8. They're just a little harder than uh, U8. So let's let's see the damage. They seem to die very fast. Like I can, I'm definitely doing the bulk of this damage. You can tell because right when I started attacking, I started taking more damage, and I don't think I got hit bad. Oh, that's actually not too bad. I honestly, like, I, just from hearing things, like I mentioned in another video, I think people that haven't experienced a certain thing yet are the ones that <laughs> over-exaggerate it, but, uh, people were making it out to be, like, extremely tough, and if you're 10k PR, you might as well just stick to U8 uh, until you hit, like, 10 or 11 to 12k, but that seems to be going fine. Come on, broken projectiles, work. Uh, so yeah, actually, I'm not getting hit for much at all. Of course I'm not getting slammed. If I get slammed, I'll probably get hit for like a mil, but I'm a shadow hunter. I shouldn't be really getting slammed, right? <laughs> uh, so yeah, actually that was a lot different than I expected. So I guess we're just gonna hang out and do some U9 today. Uh, are these shadow boxes? Are they finally called shadows? Shadow fire gem box. Screw you, resplendent water gem boxes. I've moved up. I've moved on to shadows. I have a. I have a new person in my left now. Jeez, that 41 mil crits. <laughs> Imagine Shadow Towers now. In hard modes, I'm going to be doing like. I'm going to be doing max damage. Because I think damage caps out at uh, 10 or 100 mil. I don't think it calculates above 100 mil. So if I crit in a shadow. In a hard mode. Hard modes only, obviously, because ultras are hard modes, but everything's nerfed by 90%. In hard modes, I'm going to be hitting max damage. That's going to be pretty cool. Maybe I should make a video and just be like. How to hit max damage, <laughs> even though it's literally just level up your gems. Um, that clickbait, right? <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's actually pretty cool. Especially with the Shadowhunter, I thought I was going to get owned. Like, I can't get over the fact that this is so easy. <laughs> I'm in U9, right? This is U9? Yes, this is U9. Okay. Maybe maybe people that were saying that U9 was hard were maybe playing like Draculites or something. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Shadowhunter is having a very good time. I'm hitting them for 900k with the uh, flask charge up. I just got hit by a couple overhead smashes and didn't really take much damage. Took like 100k. Maybe they nerfed U9? I have no idea. I, I have no clue. Gotta make sure to get all these uh, all of these guys. I'll get like 15 boxes because I'll probably say like a minute per dungeon. Uh, I don't want shot them anymore doing 41 mil crits. I was one shotting the U8 bosses by like a crazy amount. I was I was one shotting U8 bosses at like 8k power rank though, so that's not much. <laughs> because I was the one lagging behind. Step up, the one and only J Man. All right, so let's continue. Oh, power disc. Actually, this person having Alburn reminds me. They're buffing Albaron and Fortress, I've heard. I've heard that there is, like, memory leak, or not memory leaks, that's not what I meant. <laughs> there is data mining that uh, they're going to be giving Albaron and Fortress stats. Now, this video will be hopefully coming out after, so I don't raise a price <laughs> with this video, because a lot of people get upset. They're like, you raise a price for everything every time you mention something. Like, when I mentioned Tank Turtles, they doubled in price. It's not my fault, guys. I mean, I'm just talking. <laughs> I don't dictate what people do. But, um... Yeah, they should be rising in price, so if I do release this video, you should probably buy out some uh, Albarons and Fortresses because they're... I don't know if this is for sure, this is just what I heard from multiple people, that Albarons and Fortress are getting stats in the future. Um, again, hopefully it's maybe like next week and this video comes out after that has already happened, but if not, then uh, you do have the chance of purchasing them a little bit cheaper than what they could be. They could not rise in price at all. Again, there's always a risk. They're a pretty rare item to begin with, so when something is rare to begin with... Look, I didn't even get one shot from an overhead smash from that new mob. 
Um, usually those dragons and the drill dudes from the desert biomes, they usually one-shot you because they hit harder than every other mob since they're a little bit newer models. I don't know why they did that, but that's how it is. Uh, but yeah, they're going to be getting new stats, so they could rise in price, but they could also not rise in price because, like I said, they're rarer than uh, most items. So when something is rare, uh, it's already at like that rare set price because it's based off its drop chance rather than what it does. Um, of course, that doesn't hold 100% truth. That's why Fortress is more expensive than Albaron because Fortress has a better is a better dragon than Albaron is. It's obviously just Albaron's just a different look. Um, so yeah, it could not rise in price, but I would assume that it would. So if it doesn't rise in price, don't blame me. I warned you. <laughs> but if it does rise in price, good luck with either the cheaper mount or good luck with the flux that you made from investing or this video comes out after and it doesn't matter anyways so <laughs> one of those cases will one of those things will be the case all right so we'll do one more dungeon then we'll be done because we're, we're already getting into the rambly states so that means whenever we get to that state we need a we need a abandon ship <laughs> stop the video quickly um so yeah That'd be pretty cool if they do get stats, though, because that would give me a reason to purchase Fortress or Alburn, because right now there's no reason. A turtle tank is just a better version of them. Uh, so it'll give me a reason. If something gives you stats, you should definitely, definitely go for it. Uh, of course, they're very expensive right now. Alburn is like, it's 800. So it's like 1.8 mil, and Fortress is like point. 6 mil some, or 2.6 mil something like that um oh two shadows nice uh so they're definitely they're definitely on the higher price side so not everyone's gonna be able to participate in the first place but hopefully hopefully a lot of people will, will get the stats from them because uh stats are good stats are very good especially the magic find <laughs> and the jump that's the things that i mostly care about instead of like the combat stats uh, but yeah that is going to be it for this video if you guys enjoyed it, make sure to give it a like, and I will see you guys next time.